just a big thank you to everyone who subscribed and clicked the like button and uh, today we've got something for you hard landscapers uh, so without further ado let's have a look at a bit of fencing so what we're doing today is we're doing a fencing job and uh, you can see that we've got these concrete slotted posts you've got your gravel board and if you are doing a fencing piece of work on a slope what we normally do is we put a sort of an end post in so you can see we've got this post here which is uh, as you can see uh, just a little bit higher than sort of six foot and then what we do is we set another post the other end right at the far end we call that a dead man okay so you actually set up a little temporary post we're gonna have a look at that so this is this is the dead man post we've set this up and now you can string a line and obviously there's going to be some sag in the middle so you put an intermediary one just to take out the sag and that means now all we've got to do is to step the post down and if they're touching this string that will give you the line and will give you the same steps down each time which is really useful so uh, we've just got a hole dug out and we're going to have a look at putting the posts in. So when you're doing a fence like this, what you've got to do is you've got to put a post and a gravel board in as you go. Otherwise, you won't get the spacing correctly. Uh, if you try and measure it, you'll always find that you're out a little bit. So it's important to put the gravel boards in as you go. We've got actually got another gravel board to put in here. Um, obviously, on the line this should be touching the line so we just gotta oh, we've got a little bit more to come over there just a tad more and that's nearly on the line there so that should just run nicely on that line and then of course when you are putting it in you've got to make sure it's plumb on this side and make sure that on the other side it's plumb as well so just using that bubble there on your spirit level and once you set up and you're touching the line and your gravel board is nice and fully into that recess then we should be good to go okay uh, in terms of the uh, postcrete we're normally looking at about two bags per post allow for at least two bags so one of the things you have to do when you're putting your gravel boards in uh, on the first one and the second one is to make sure that your gravel boards are level as well uh, and then you can put your posts on just got to come up just a fraction on this one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to leave that up a little bit and we'll pop a i'm just using uh, a little piece of old paving slab just to put in there just to keep that nice and make sure that that's up at the right height Okay, and we'll just check that again. That's nice now and the bubble's in the middle and uh, so that's good to go. Holes dug out. So what we next do is half fill the hole with water. You can just do one final check to make sure that you're all nice and plumb. Check that again. On the line. So that's the other thing. We should be on the line at the top. How close are we on that one? Yeah, we're running similar to the other one before, so that's okay. Uh, that's all right. So what we'll do is we'll half fill the hole with water. At least 20 centimeters in there. And then what we'll do is we'll pour in the post creek. There we go. And then we'll give that a little bit of a, a prod round with a piece of stick just to ram it in. Just doing a touch video, thought I'd take the opportunity. Doing here is just prodding this round, making sure that it finds its way all the way around the post. Okay. And then what we'll do is pop some more in. Um, 
and this will take about a couple of minutes to really start getting an initial set after about five minutes or so it'll be quite hard and that's the beauty of using this sort of uh, postcrete or post fix in this case um, because then you can carry on with the job you're not going to worry about it falling over in the middle of the night because it's all gone off and you don't have to what we call sprag it where you put 45 degree angle uh, post to hold it um, so that's going in there quite nicely the other big thing when you are fencing of course is that these are really heavy so the fence posts and gravel boards you can be talking about 58 kilos plus so it's definitely at least a two-person job when you're moving stuff around it's uh, very very heavy stuff you've got the choice in terms of you know whether you have the nice bit facing in or the nice bit facing out it's uh, kind of your choice some people Put the nice bit facing outwards and the uh, same on the gravel boards um, but a lot of people like to have it facing in because that's the bit you see when you're sitting in the garden so that should begin to take an initial set already it's going pretty pretty firm there so that's the next one in and now we'll have a look at how we dig the holes that's going to be the next thing you can have what's called a shavola which is like a uh, we'll have a look at a picture of that Shavola. We haven't got one of those and that's quite good You can push it in and it pull the handles apart It takes lifts up the soil and puts it to one side. So that's quite a good thing. You can get a two-stroke post hole digger um, Which is great if the soil is good because it just digs the holes really quickly. It's got like an auger which spirals into the ground uh, we've got a little hand one, uh, but in this case because there's so much concrete and it's next to the haunch uh, Of concrete which is holding the edgings in we're going to use a kango and that will be the uh, the best thing to use here But that's going off quite nicely and In fact, we'll just take that up a little bit so we can chuck if you want to you can put a couple of bits in to take up the uh, Bulk of the weight to save a little bit on your post creep so we can put a few, we've got a few odd bits here and we'll chuck a couple of them in just to take up a little bit of the, the slack and uh, we'll pop a bit more water and then finish it off with a bit of postcrete and then that should hopefully do that. So there we go, we'll just do that and then just wrap a bit of postcrete round there over the top. And you can get a little trowel and just finish it to make it look a bit nicer. Arthur Excalibur Hang on Sorry, just put a bit more There you are, come on There you go Merlin come on. Merlin cheats hey. He's wizardry no. <laughs> So there we go, the uh, fence panels are in and the posts and we've got a pretty even step as you go down and uh, touching the string Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on fencing on a slope and I hope that will help you with your projects at home um, 
I'm going to leave you with a bit of inspiration. These were a few fences I saw uh, when I was up in uh, Hexham and uh, a few different ideas of a sawmill there, uh, Duncombe Sawmill. So I hope you enjoy these few pictures and it gives you some inspiration of what you can do with different types of